Hello, good afternoon, and welcome to this video tutorial on how you can take your existing ERC-20 Ethereum-based FET tokens, move them to the Binance.com exchange, and then send them into either your Kepler or your Cosmos Station wallet and get them onto the FET or Fetch AI mainnet in order to stake those tokens. All right, as always, all information provided in this video tutorial is provided on an as is and as available basis, and you agree that your use of any such information is entirely your own, at your own risk. Please do not construe any such information or other material in my video tutorial as legal, tax, investment, financial, or other advice. Nothing in this video or on my YouTube channel constitutes a solicitation, recommendation, endorsement, or offer by myself or any other third party. I am not liable for the loss of any fiat assets, tokens, or fees incurred as a result of you following the steps presented here. And this is not investment advice. I am not an investment advisor. The opinions expressed in this video tutorial are for general information and entertainment purposes only and are not intended to provide specific financial and or tax advice or any recommendations for any individual on any specific cryptocurrency token or investment product. So now that we've got that out of the way, I have a couple of friends who have approached me and said, I've got a bunch of FET tokens on the Coinbase exchange, or I have a bunch of FET tokens in my MetaMask wallet, and these are all ERC-20 based tokens. Remember, when you're buying FET on Coinbase, those are ERC-20 Ethereum based tokens. And the same is true on Crypto.com. When you're buying the tokens there, those are ERC-20 Ethereum based tokens. You can't move them directly onto the mainnet. And as I highlighted in a previous video, which I'll put the link to down below, currently the token bridge is down for Fetch AI. And uh, they're talking about bringing it up soon, but it's not down right now. And again, I've had a couple of friends ask me, well, what do I do? How do I get these tokens onto the Fetch AI mainnet so I can stake them even though they're ERC-20 based Ethereum tokens? And so in this video tutorial, what I'm gonna be covering are two use cases. The first is gonna be transferring directly from my Coinbase account to Binance.com. And again, pay careful attention to what I'm saying there. This is not the US Binance site. So if you are a US citizen, you might have to find another way to access the Binance.com site um, because it is not a site that you should be accessing from the US is my understanding. However, this is for entertainment and education purposes only. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how the procedure would be done to get those tokens onto the Fetch AI mainnet using Binance.com. So we're gonna do it directly from Coinbase. I'm gonna send the tokens to Binance.com. And then once we get to Binance.com, we're able to transfer those tokens via the mainnet. Now, the key is that when we're transferring the tokens in, these are ERC-20 based tokens. When we transfer them out because Binance is integrated with the Fetch AI mainnet, we can push those tokens to the mainnet. So let's go ahead and see what that looks like right now. So here I am in my Coinbase account and I purchased a small amount of FET tokens. In fact, it was $50. It was a $1.99 fee on Coinbase. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to send all of those tokens and I'm going to send them to my Binance.com account. And let's see what the fee is going to be here. And it should pop up and you can see that it's substantial, right? Because again, these are ERC-20 Ethereum based tokens. So I'm moving $50 worth of the tokens and it looks like we're gonna be getting hit with um, a substantial fee here. So it looks like 64 FET tokens are gonna get moved over. So $35 worth, so you can do the math there. It looks like we're gonna be hit with about a $12 and what is it, 30 cent fee, right? So let's go ahead and knock this out. I'm gonna say send now and we'll click send now. I'm gonna go into my Google Authenticator app and enter in my super secret code here. And let's click confirm. All right, so once we've done that, you can see that we move the 64 FET. And again, $35.40 worth. Now, 
As I had mentioned already, this is sort of for educational demonstration purposes. I typically wouldn't move such a small amount because I'm gonna incur such a large fee here. Now the transaction usually takes less than 10 minutes. So let's jump over to Binance.com and see what it looks like on that end where we should be receiving these tokens within a few minutes. All right, so the first thing I'm going to show you here on Binance.com is how I came up with that network address. Well, you find the FET token by searching for it, and then you go ahead and click Deposit. And this is gonna bring you to this screen here where you're gonna select your network. And as you can see, we've got multiple networks from which we can pick. This is gonna be the Ethereum ERC20 network for those tokens that I move from Coinbase. Because remember, and they even tell you here, ensure that the network is Ethereum ERC20. Coming from Coinbase, that's what it's gonna be. The same is true when it's coming from your MetaMask wallet. Now, that address right here is noticeably different from when you would use the mainnet. And I would just simply click get address because the mainnet addresses are going to begin with fetch one. Now, when you're using the fetch AI mainnet with binance.com, you have to put the memo in. If you don't put the memo in when you're making your deposit here to Binance, you're not going to see those coins. If you're using the ERC20 Ethereum base chain, you don't need a memo, you simply need your address. All right, so now let's go ahead and take a step back into the wallet and you can see right here, it tells you deposit successful, we've got the 64.41 FET. All right, well, let's go ahead and dive into the wallet and take a look at how we would now move these ERC20 based FET tokens into the Cosmo Station wallet. So what I did was I went back to my wallet, I clicked on withdraw, and you can see here from the FET, Fetch AI token screen, I clicked on withdraw and it says withdraw to. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and go to my address book because I have an address already in here and this is going to be the address that's gonna put these tokens into my Cosmo Station wallet. And All right, so on this side of the screen, I have my iPhone with my Cosmo Station app open. And as you can see, that is the correct address. So I clicked on Cosmo Station, that's the address. The memo is optional when sending, right? Remember, I'm sending this to my Cosmo Station wallet, so I don't have to have a memo. When you're depositing to Coinbase, that memo is required. So you'll notice we pick the Fetch AI mainnet, and here's the withdraw amount. I'm gonna go ahead and click max, and you can see, take a look at that. It's 0.5 FET in order to make the move. So let's go ahead and click withdraw. And you can see the selected network supports memo filling. Please confirm if the recipient's address requires it. To go to the Cosmo Station app, it does not require a memo. So I'm gonna simply click confirm. You can see here the label Cosmo, uh, the label's Cosmo Station. Here's the amount uh, minus the fee, which was 0.5 FET, which right now is about 26, 27 cents. And let's click continue. Now this is going to ask me. I've got a multi uh, verification thing set up here, so let me slide this to the side so I can access my email account. So we click on get code and then the verification code is sent. Now, I always do the email verification code first because what I don't wanna have happen is I put the authenticator code in and then take too long to get the email ver verification code entered in. And then you've gotta enter in a different authentication code uh, from the authenticator app and it just kind of makes a mess. So we've got 318380 is our code there. Now let's go to the authenticator code and that is gonna be our six digit code. So let's drop that in here for Binance and that's gonna be 842646. And we're gonna click Submit. And there we go. So you can see it says awaiting approval. And we've got this 24 hour limit here. It says it's processing. We only need five confirmations. So let's go ahead and what I've noticed is in the Cosmo Station wallet, we typically see the tokens show up uh, much sooner than the Binance page updates. In other words, 
the current available balance is three, so it should be what 66 or 67 tokens once this exchange or once this transfer gets done. And typically I see those tokens show up here before I see this update to five out of five. So let's go ahead and give it a second here. And hopefully we're gonna see those tokens pop in here in just a second. And there they are. So what did we do? We took ERC20 Ethereum based tokens purchased on Coinbase. We transferred them via the ERC20 Ethereum network and we paid for that uh, to Binance.com. And then from Binance.com, I simply send them to the Fetch AI mainnet. And there the tokens are. So again, depending on how many tokens you've got, it wasn't that bad, all things considered. I think what we spent $15. And obviously, if you're moving a larger number of tokens, your mileage may vary. No pun intended with that gas fee. So this is one way, and this is what I showed my friend. Hey, here's how you can get them off of Coinbase off the ERC-20 and into your Cosmo Station wallet on the Fetch AI mainnet. And now I can actually delegate and stake those tokens. So that's use case number one. Now let's take a look at use case number two. And this one's probably gonna be even more expensive. Uh, and you might be wondering, well, wait a minute, why do you have the FET tokens in your MetaMask wallet to begin with? And I was doing some other testing for some stuff. You can see I've got $89.18 of Ethereum in here, but let's find out what this is going to cost uh, because I have 426 FET tokens here. So let's go ahead and do this all over again. And again, remember, when you're depositing from either Coinbase or from the MetaMask wallet, you're going to pick Fetch AI, and the network you're going to choose is the Ethereum ERC-20 base network. So now let's go ahead and copy that address, and let's come back over to the MetaMask wallet. Let's drop down here to the FET tokens. Let's click Send, and let's see what kind of damage is going to be done in terms of fee. So you can see the asset is FET, and I want to send all of them. And let's find out how bad this is going to look here. Uh, estimated gas fee is going to be $34.75. And I'm going to bite the bullet here for you guys so that we can see what this looks like. So I'm going to click confirm. And there they go. So you can see what kind of a fee we were looking at coming out of the MetaMask wallet. It's, it's double what we paid to move it from the uh, Coinbase exchange direct. And again, if you're asking yourself, well, wait a minute, why did you even put them in the MetaMask wall to begin with? Like I said, I had them in here, I was doing some other testing uh, and it just kind of you know nicely dovetailed off of, again, a buddy who's got some FET tokens in his MetaMask wallet. They're all ERC-20 based. Obviously it's in the MetaMask wallet and he wants to get them onto the main net. So I'm going to go ahead and pause. My guess is this is going to take around five to seven minutes before we see this on the Binance exchange. But as soon as we do, we'll go ahead and pick up from there. All right. So it was definitely not five to seven minutes. It took 21 minutes for my FET tokens to show up from my MetaMask wallet on the Binance.com exchange. And I think the irony here is we paid $34 to move it from the MetaMask wallet to Binance.com, which was double what it cost to go from Coinbase Direct, but it took twice as long, or far more than twice as long. So again, it was 21 minutes total before it showed up here. But like, we, like I was saying, we've got the tokens here. So now how do I take these ERC-20 FET-based tokens that I've moved from my MetaMask wallet, and how do I get them onto the Fetch AI mainnet so that I can stake them with my Cosmo Station app? And again, you could move these into your Kepler wallet as well. Um, those are both valid options. However, I keep most of my stuff in the Cosmo Station wallet, and that's where I'm gonna put these. So you would go ahead and select the Fetch AI coin, or you would search for it and simply click withdraw. And you can see withdraw crypto it brings me here. We're doing Fetch AI. I already have my Cosmo station address in the address book. So I'm going to select that and you can see Cosmo station and that is a main net address, Fetch one. So there's nothing I need, nothing fancy I need to do here. And again, I misspoke earlier. I think I said when you're moving to Coinbase, you have to put the memo in again, correction. 
when you're depositing to Binance.com, uh, you're depositing from the Fetch AI mainnet to Binance.com, you have to use the memo. When we're withdrawing the FET tokens, we do not need the memo so going to the Cosmo Station wallet. And I don't believe you need to go into the Kepler wallet either. So there's not going to be a memo in here because we're withdrawing. Remember, when you're depositing to Binance.com, the memo is required. So I wanted to clear that up. And I'm going to click the max and take a look at that. Isn't that way better than the Ethereum fee that we paid? I'm much happier paying 25 cents as opposed to $34 to get the tokens here. And again, you need to make the decision as to whether or not this the juice is going to be worth the squeeze for you. So let's go ahead and click withdraw. I'm going to click confirm. And I believe I have a uh, multi-factor authentication thing set up here. Let's click on get code. I am now going to quickly come over here and check my email once again for a Binance.com email that has my six-digit email verification code. There it is. And it is 409723. And then the authenticator code out of Google Authenticator is going to be, and let me let it cycle here because it's close enough that it's going to flip. All right, and let's click Submit. So we are not going to have to wait 21 minutes. That's one of the things that you'll notice. And there you go. Now it says... The withdrawal request is being reviewed and will take approximately 12 hours. That is not the case. That pops up every time you transfer or withdraw from Binance. If you withdraw FET from Binance, I've seen this every time. However, what I've noticed is that it is rather quick that you will see. All right. So uh, typically I see it within a few minutes, if not less than a minute, it will show up here. And like I said, the confirmation zero out of five, this website, the page doesn't update very frequently, if at all, um, unless you refresh it. So what I usually do is I'll come to the wallet here and you can see our balance is currently 66.933778 and we transferred, what was it, 425 so do the math there. We should end up with what, 491? Okay, 492. And take a look at that. I mean, that was under a minute. And again, you're going to see that window pop up telling you it's going to be 12 hours. Typically, it takes a minute. And so what have we done here? Well, we've taken ERC-20 FET tokens from Coinbase, directly transferred them to Binance.com, and then, as you saw, sent them straight to the mainnet. These are now mainnet FET tokens. And they're in my Cosmo Station app. You could put them into your Kepler wallet as well. And then you could stake them from Kepler. Again, the video that I did up showing you how to do that to get them into your Kepler wallet and how you could stake from your Kepler wallet. The link to that is uh, in the description down below. And then I showed you how to take ERC-20 FET tokens from your MetaMask wallet, because if that's where you've got them and they're just sitting there and you want to do something with them, you can transfer them to Binance.com and send them directly to the Fetch AI mainnet where these are now FET, Fetch AI mainnet tokens. And as a quick refresher, okay, let's say we want to stake these. So you would click on delegate. I'm going to click on altruistic automaton. In the previous video, I talked about the commission rates that are being charged here. Uh, with the different validators. And this one is, you know, 0.25 as opposed to Cosmo Station, which is charging you 8.9% on a, as a commission. So then I would simply click delegate. And you'd, I don't want to do the max. I never do the max because I always want to hold a few FET back just in case. So let's go ahead and say 490. That's a nice round number. So we'll say 490. I click next. I click next because I don't need a memo for this. You can see for me to do the delegation, it's a zero FET fee to make that happen. I click confirm and then continue. I enter in my pin, which is, and I like how it doesn't echo it out there on the screen. And there we go. And so those 490 FET tokens have just been delegated to the altruistic automaton. I'll click done here. And you can see when you do that, the staking rewards are automatically harvested and those are put uh, into your uh, balance as well. Uh, so into your available balance, not the staked balance. You can see the available balance should have been 
uh, two, but we had three staking reward FET sitting there. And so those have been added to the available balance. And as you can see, uh, the staked FET amount is now 3,181. All right, well, that is going to do it for this video tutorial on how you can get your ERC-20 based FET tokens off of the ERC-20 Ethereum blockchain into Binance.com and then transfer those to the, the Fetch AI mainnet so that your tokens can be staked. I hope this helped you out. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.